time we need more investment, they're increasing the tax on investments. Is that well thought out? I don't think so. At a time when we want Australians to have a go and be enterprising, start new businesses, start small businesses, they are, they are with their negative gearing policy, they are going to prohibit anyone from offsetting an investment loss against their personal income unless it is in new residential property. There are countries so, overseas so that have far less generous the, negative gearing policies the, than Australia. Their the, economies still tick over, their stock markets still grow, businesses still open up. Let me finish. So that means, under the guise of housing affordability, you would not be able to not only buy an existing flat or a house and a negative gear it against your personal income, you couldn't buy a shop. You couldn't buy a warehouse. You couldn't buy an office suite. Why? What's that got to do with housing affordability? You couldn't buy a portfolio of shares in a public companies. What's that got to do with housing affordability? You could not capitalise with a partner, a private company, to start a business and offset that against your income. Now, the reality is that most of us start off with only our human capital. And we start off in life earning some money for ourselves in, a, in our profession, in a job, and we leverage that, we borrow money, and we leverage that to start something else. Labor is saying you can't do that anymore. But in your first interview with this program as Prime Minister, you said that the first you, principles you, of yeah. the Turnbull government would be the free market. So why yes. are you now violating that principle by backing, backing negative gearing, which is a government intervention that distorts the market? It isn't, that, that, that is so wrong, Lee. I'm sorry to... It's a government so, policy. No, it, it's I'm not so, free so, market. It is, it is. Negative gearing is, is income tax 101. It's not a tax concession at all. What it means is, it is a fundamental principle of tax law, and has been forever, that you can deduct from your income the interest expense of money that is borrowed to purchase an income-producing asset. It's a government that, incentive. It is not. It is a, it is a normal tax deduction. The it's incentives. Not... The incentives. There are incentives given. We're providing incentives to invest in startup companies. Superannuation is full of incentives. There are incentives to invest in certain types of. Uh, projects, water, in, water projects, for example, right across the country, there are tax incentives. Negative gearing is not an incentive. It is simply a basic income tax principle. Do you've you think raised, of, you've do raised you, housing affordability as well. Yeah. Um, you assume, you seem to assume Australians want housing prices to keep rising when housing affordability is an issue of great concern to many Australians who might like to see housing prices fall. Well, I don't think it's a well. I don't think many Australians who own houses want housing prices to fall. No, but they want uh, their kids to be able to afford them. Let me let me go on. the The reason why it is housing is not as affordable or accessible as it should be, is because we are not building enough houses. Now, let me give you an example of what Labor's policy would do. If you take under Labor's plan, the only uh, housing that investors can invest in and deduct their losses against their income would be new housing. Now, if you go out to the outer suburbs of Sydney or Melbourne, you will find lots of new subdivisions and new houses and young couples will be buying house and land packages. And, that's, and they are the bulk of those buyers for that. Under Labor's plan, they will now be competing with investors. Isn't now, this going to my point that Labor is setting the agenda here well, because me, you are responding Labor, to their policy? Well, they have put out a policy that is so ill-considered and so dangerous that it has to be responded to. But, let, but let's just, just let me come back into the city. Briefly, because yeah. I want to go through some So we minutes. get into the city and we get close to the city and we have lots of apartment buildings. Most of those apartments are often tenanted, so people are renting them. The owners, naturally, are investors. Under Labor's plan, those investors, when they sell, can only sell to home owners. So what will happen is the number of tenantable, rentable properties will contract. Rents will go up. People who can't afford a home but need to rent will have fewer apartments to rent. And, of course, you will end up, result, because that will bring prices down, fewer new dwellings will be built. What we need is a comprehensive approach to cities, which is part of my government's policy, which will ensure that when we invest in infrastructure in cities, we get outcomes that will deliver more housing availability, planning outcomes, that will ensure more dwellings can be built and hence there will be more affordable housing. All right, now